whenever I think. Oh, here we go. Let's pray again. Or prayer gets boring. Hebrews 12 cures it for me. Next time you're in a prayer gathering and someone's just praying for their aunt's foot again, and you're just like, ah. Uh, just open your Bible. Get to Hebrews 12 and remind yourself. You're going, so I'm, right now, I'm talking to someone. See, like right now, you can come up and, and touch me. I mean, don't, but you, I'm touchable. I'm touchable. He says, you aren't coming to someone you can touch. So you're like, okay, who am I talking to right now? An untouchable being who calls himself a blazing fire. So right then, if it just stopped there, I'm speaking to an untouchable blazing fire. But then it goes on. And darkness and gloom. When's the last time you heard God described as darkness and gloom? Look, all through the scriptures, he is eager to show off his wrath and show his power through his wrath. Go, you need to understand, I'm a God of wrath also. That darkness, he's referring to uh, the Exodus possibly, about the darkness he put over the land, the gloom that those people went through, through all the plagues. He goes, this is who you're coming before. The sound of a trumpet. But I thought God only speaks through, a, you know, like a still small voice. No, he's also the sound of a trumpet. A voice whose words made the hearers beg that no further messages be spoken to them. See, we're always like, oh, I want to hear your voice. I hear. The people back then were like, please, Moses, tell them to stop talking. Please, tell them to stop talking. I can't handle that. Like, these commands are serious. And that voice is like a trumpet. Please stop. Like, when I'm praying, I'm speaking to this gloom, darkness, blazing fire, a voice that made people beg, no, no, don't talk anymore, I can't handle, you know, these commands, like, he goes, don't even let an animal on, the, if an animal comes and, and gets to this mountain where I am, yeah, I don't even want you to stab it, you better stay, keep your distance and stone it to death because I am holy and I'm going, I'm talking to you. He goes, and, and you're going to this, this heavenly city where there's innumerable angels in festal gathering. So, so here I am on this little planet, his footstool, with a little group of people in, in my house. And I'm speaking to a God who has innumerable angels up there. What does that even look like? So you've got innumerable angels celebrating and worshiping you, and I'm going to dare speak to you, blazing fire, gloom, trumpet, darkness. Here it goes. God, I am only here. Because I think I have the right through Jesus. I know I do. So I'm coming with confidence because of what Jesus did on the cross and I believe in that and I trust in that so I'm speaking to you right now. you got to be kidding me. What goes through your mind as you start going towards this gathering of your friends who get this and go, you guys, we're going to get into his presence now. Let's take your mind off of yourself. Let's think about those innumerable angels. Let's think about the blazing fire. Let's think about darkness, gloom. Let's think about his voice. Let's think about the fact that he is the judge of all. He knows everything we've done, and he is the ultimate judge. And you're gathering for that. What goes through your mind?
Is Lauren Daigle going to be there? Really? This is boring. Really? I'm sorry. I'm not going to spice it up for you. <laughs> 